everybody, Robin from Backscatter here, and today we're gonna to be reviewing a camera system that we're calling the best bang for your buck in underwater photography. The Olympus EPL 9 and 10, and the Backscatter limited edition Octo housing by AOI. This mirrorless system is all about balancing shooting performance, an easy to use interface, lightweight portability, and a great value. The EPL 10 with 14 to 42 millimeter lens is only $700, while the housing is $649, and it includes everything that you need to start shooting right away. Not to mention, it's also basically the coolest looking housing around. One of our favorite aspects of this system is the way that it allows you to choose between either shooting it like a compact camera or shooting it like an SLR. You can use externally mounted wet lenses with the 14 to 42 lens and the included flat port to keep things nice and simple and similar in operation to a compact camera, or you can swap out lenses on the camera body itself for a dedicated wide angle or macro shooting setup, just like you would an SLR. There's a complete set of accessories and optics to fully expand and upgrade this camera to do just about anything that you'd ever want to use it for underwater. This thing is all about versatility and being easy to adapt to the task at hand. The EPL is also an ideal upgrade for people who are currently shooting an Olympus TG camera, but are ready to make that jump up to the next level of camera rig. Let's take a deep dive into this system and break down everything that you need to know. I am going to throw a lot of information at you, but don't feel like you need to take notes because all of this and more can be found in our companion article linked in the video description. Mirrorless cameras have two primary advantages over compact cameras, a larger sensor and an interchangeable lens. With a larger sensor, the camera can gather more light with less image noise and have greater dynamic range than a compact camera. The interchangeable lenses let the camera adapt to any shooting needs. From extreme wide angle down to macro or even long zoom telephoto, these lenses have much higher grade optics for sharper images when compared to a compact camera. Mirrorless cameras also eliminate the optical viewfinder of traditional SLRs, making these things smaller and lighter. Olympus uses the Micro Four Thirds lens mount, which utilizes a sensor size about half that of a full frame SLR. This keeps the body size smaller and keeps the lenses smaller and lighter too. The Octo housing supports both the EPL9 and EPL10 camera bodies. There's effectively no difference between these cameras because the only significant change is that the EPL 10 includes some extra art filter features that we won't be using underwater anyway. One of the key advantages of this camera is that it can do a lot in a little package, making it ideal for travel. The interchangeable lenses and the ports are the biggest variable when it comes to determining the overall system size and how big of a travel bag you'll need to pack. Even when fully equipped with pro-level lenses and dual arms for wide-angle lighting, the Octo housing is barely any bigger than a compact camera housing. Considering the well-laid-out ergonomics, interchangeable ports, and the LED flash trigger, vacuum, and leak detection features, it's pretty astonishing that the overall housing size is so small. It's barely bigger than the housing for a TG camera. Included with the housing is a swappable shutter lever, so you have the choice of either hand-holding the housing with that short shutter, or you can mount the housing on a tray, put the longer shutter on there, and then be able to easily reach it when your hand is on the grip. This is just one more way that this rig gives you the flexibility to either shoot it like a compact or like an SLR. Any Olympus shooter is going to feel right at home with the familiar menus, controls, and operation of the camera. They are basically the same as a TG, just with more options and features. The larger sensor of the EPL creates much sharper image detail, better dynamic range, and lower noise in low light situations. This ability to swap between such a wide variety of lenses 
is the key upgrade when compared to TG cameras, because this is what allows you to get wider shots, more macro working distance, and sharper image quality. When shooting macro with the included 14 to 42 millimeter lens and a diopter, you'll have a much greater working distance to your subject than you would when shooting macro with a TG. This is gonna make these macro shots way easier to pull off because you don't have to get as close and you won't risk potentially spooking those skittish little critters. The EPL has full manual exposure control, another major advantage over the TG cameras. This is especially helpful for wide angle background exposure control, which is where full manual shutter speed becomes essential. The TG6 only offers a limited shutter speed control at best and never without an auto ISO caveat as we cover in our review and our best settings guides. The EPL can separate shutter from ISO just like any other fully manual camera, providing you with complete exposure control for the perfect image under any conditions. This may sound a little counterintuitive, but dialing in wide angle background color is actually much easier to do when shooting in manual mode than when shooting in the auto or program modes. For shooters that are ready to graduate from their tried and true TG camera, but aren't quite ready to go all in for a full frame SLR, then the EPL is the best choice for a major step up in performance and versatility at just a fraction of the price of other mirrorless or SLR options. The EPL 9 and 10 come with the Olympus 14 to 42 millimeter easy power zoom lens. This lens on its own is about equivalent to the zoom range on most compact cameras. It's great for your basic fish portrait or identification shot on subjects that are about basketball down to softball sized. If you want to get creative with wide angle and macro, then it's going to require wet mounted external conversion optics. On its own, this little 14 to 42 millimeter lens isn't wide enough at 14 millimeters to shoot wide angle, and it's not tight enough at 42 millimeters to capture true macro. This is both the pro and the con of shooting this rig like a compact camera. You can use these basic wet lenses, but you also have to use these basic wet lenses. By going to a dedicated wide angle or macro lens, you sacrifice the ability to just swap between shooting either wide angle or macro on the same dive, or at least without having to actually swap the port. But the advantage is that you gain sharper image quality, wider wide angle, tighter and easier to shoot macro, and faster super macro autofocusing. And there's a lot of choices when it comes to lenses, so here's what Backscatter recommends and when to use them. 14 to 42 with the UWL 09 Pro. This is our recommended wide angle setup for most wide angle shooters. You get 130 degrees of coverage and some zoom range to work with, and it can be removed underwater or on a wet camera table without having to open the housing. On the flip side, because this is a wet lens, you will have to burp it once underwater and you won't be able to shoot split shots since water is gonna drain from the gap between the lens and the port. 14 to 42 with the Backscatter M52 wide angle lens. This is the ideal option for TG shooters that are upgrading and already have this lens. All you have to do is add the bayonet mounting system and you'll have an easy on-off wide angle solution for an optic that you already own. The downside is that you'll only get around 100 degrees of wide angle coverage and it's not quite as sharp as the UWL09 Pro. Just like before, it's gotta be burped and can't really do split shots. The Olympus or Panasonic 8mm fisheye lenses. This is the ultimate widest of the wide angle. Go with an eight millimeter fisheye when shooting large scenes like reef scapes, whale sharks, shipwrecks, and split shots. This is a great perspective for super close focus wide angle shots too. The trade-off is that you are locked 180 degrees with no zoom. So you're gonna be zooming with your fins and not a control knob on the housing. You'll be using a dedicated port so there's no burping involved 
but you will have to open the housing when you want to swap lenses. 14 to 42 with UCL09. This is the least expensive way to shoot macro. By using the UCL09, the 14 to 42 lens can focus closer to subjects, allowing you to shoot critters down to about the size of a golf ball. Because the lens focuses closer, however, you can't back up very far and still be able to achieve focus because the entire focus range of this lens setup is pretty thin. The 60 millimeter macro lens. This is the best option for pure macro, like subjects from softball down to smaller than a penny size. The 60 millimeter lens has razor sharp optics and provides excellent image quality. One cool thing here is that you can just add on an extension ring to make this stock port work with the 60 millimeter lens, or you can actually just put on a dedicated port for the 60. If you wanna get really crazy with it, you can add that UCL09 diopter to the 60 millimeter lens, and then you'll get up to two to one reproduction ratio for teensy tiny super macro critters. The EPL produces images with sharp resolution detail, high key highlights that don't look blown out, and dark shadows that aren't noisy or grainy. The color saturation is vibrant and packs plenty of pop. Whether you're shooting backlit sunballs or black background macro, the results are excellent and really among some of the best from current generation Micro Four Thirds sensor cameras. Thanks to the included LED flash trigger in the housing, the EPL can shoot rapid fire by completely bypassing its own built-in pop-up flash. The LED trigger will fire way more shots per second than any camera that has to rely on a pop-up flash, and this is the best way to nail the perfect frame in a quick burst, fast action sequence. The EPL is gonna fire as fast as any paired strobe can recycle, so when you've got that strobe set at a lower power, this thing can do some blazing fast shooting. The trade-off of this rapid fire awesomeness is that there is no automatic TTL strobe exposure, but honestly, this isn't a big deal because TTL is slow and you're better off by simply adjusting your strobe power manually and firing way more frames per second when that action is happening. The controls can be configured to enable back button autofocus. By separating the focus control from the shutter button, we gain a huge advantage over compact cameras and we take the next step towards SLR-like camera control. This custom control assignment is easy to set up in the menu and can be set once and forgotten about. The autofocus speed is snappy and accurate in both wide angle and macro. There's just one control dial on the camera, which can be assigned to the shutter speed or the aperture, but we actually prefer to adjust these by using the directional pad. Just press up to activate the settings and then use left and right to adjust aperture or up and down to adjust shutter speed. The EPL-10 offers maximum video recording specs of either 4K at 30p or 1080 HD at 60p. 1080 resolution will be easier to work with than 4K for most amateur and hobbyist editors, and it offers you more flexibility for slow motion effects, which is always a favorite among underwater editors. Underwater video results look great with rich color, sharp contrast, and a smooth, natural stabilization boost. Executing an ambient light custom white balance is easy and it produces great looking natural light color down to about 40 to 45 feet. There's four custom white balance banks for storing multiple color settings at different depths or shooting with or without video lights. We teamed up with AOI to produce the Backscatter Limited Edition Octo Housing. Even with the overall compact nature of the housing, there is plenty of room for ergonomic control access, even for those with small hands or when you're wearing thick dive gloves. 
mount a double flip holder on these 67 millimeter threads of the included port to be able to quickly swap between two different macro powers on the same dive. Or if you wanna shoot macro and wide on the same dive, just use that AOI quick release bayonet system for fast and easy lens swaps. One of the most practical features of the housing is the built-in USB rechargeable LED flash trigger, vacuum sensor, and leak alarm. Not only does this thing provide that rapid fire strobe performance that we mentioned earlier, it also allows you to seal the housing with that leak free peace of mind that only a vacuum can provide. Just seal up the housing and pump it down for vacuum protection. By drawing a vacuum prior to the dive, the housing's integrity can be verified and it can be taken underwater with the full confidence of being leak free. If by some chance there's any moisture present inside, an alarm will alert you so that it can be addressed before any serious damage occurs. The housing's also compatible with UMG viewfinders, which many TG shooters already have for their housings. Both the AOI UMG01 and 05 are compatible with the Octo housing, so they'll carry right over from your TG rig. The UMG01 makes it easy to see the LCD screen in bright conditions by creating a magnified loop style view of the back of the housing, while the UMG05 is great for SLR like operation where the LCD screen can be viewed at a downward angle using an angled prism. This is also great for getting down in the sand to shoot a macro subject face to face and still actually be able to see the screen. The Olympus EPL cameras and backscatter octo housing are the best bang for your buck when it comes to underwater photography equipment. Together, they can be operated as easily as a compact camera by utilizing the included kit lens and wet mount conversion lenses, or alternatively, the system can be set with dedicated lenses and ports for either wide angle or macro shooting, just like an SLR, but at a fraction of an overall SLR system price. The image quality produced by the camera is just as good as any other current micro four third sensor camera with sharp detail, vibrant colors, and great dynamic range detail, and it's gonna rival the image quality you can get from an SLR in a much smaller, travel-friendly package. This rig is both an ideal fit for new underwater shooters seeking their first rig, or as an upgrade path for someone who wants the next step up on the performance scale from their Olympus TG4, 5, 6, or similar compact camera. The custom tentacled graphics of the limited edition housing are definitely gonna turn some heads and score you some cool points, as well as serve as an easy way to pick your rig out of a crowded camera table. This is our favorite system for striking an ideal balance between affordability, high-end performance, and simple ease of operation. If you have any questions, or if you wanna learn more about this camera system, don't hesitate, just send us an email, give us a call, slide into our DMs, or leave us a comment on this video. We're here and we're always happy to help, and we're happy to help you build your ideal camera system. Any gear purchase from Backscatter or our worldwide network of dealer partners always includes free lifetime tech support, and we dive, shoot, and service everything we sell. So when you reach out for help, you're getting it from someone with firsthand experience. I'm Robin from Backscatter signing off. Thanks for watching and happy shooting.